Are you tired of your portal gun looking like this? <laughs> well, you'll learn how to change this boring texture. Maybe you want it to look like this. Or this. Or this. Oh boy. And it only takes seven easy steps. Step one. Download VTF Edit and GCF Scape. They look really weird and you might think they're viruses, but you need them to put in your textures. I'll put some links in the description so you can download them there. Step 2. Open up GCF Scape and inside of it, click File, Open, and go to Program Files x86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Portal, then Portal again, and open up the file portal underscore pack underscore dir dot vpk. Then you should see all these files here pop up. Next, go to Materials, Models, Weapons, V underscore Models, then V underscore portal gun, and you'll see all these files that relate to the portal gun. Step 3. Double click on the file named V underscore portal gun dot VTF, and then VTF edit should open up. Click File, Export, and save it wherever you'd like, and whichever format you'll want. I'll save mine in images, and save it as a PNG. You can make a copy of this if you screw up or just want to start over. Step 4. Edit the portal gun texture. You can use whatever image editing software you want, like Photoshop or GIMP, but if you're a real chad like me, you'll use Paint. Now, mainly, you'll be wanting to edit this white bit here, but you can do this stuff too, it'll just probably look ugly. So, once you edit it to your liking, save it. Step 5. Now, back in VTF Edit, click File, Import, and choose your texture. When this menu comes up, don't change anything, just click OK. Then the image should load. Once that's in, click File, Save, and name it V underscore Portal Gun, which is the original name of the Portal Gun file, and save it as a VTF file. Step 6! Oh my god. Now, the texture is complete, but we'll have to put it in a place where the game can recognize it. First, we'll go to this directory, and inside of it, create a folder named Custom, and inside of that, create another name like Custom underscore Portal Gun or something, it doesn't really matter. Now, if we want the portal gun to correctly show up, we'll have to make some more folders inside of that, just like where the portal gun file was originally located. So, make all these files named exactly like this. Materials, Models, Weapons, V underscore Models, V underscore Portal Gun. Then, once you've created all those files, put your VTF inside of it. Step 7! The final step! Open up Portal, load a map, and it'll be there. Hopefully this tutorial helped you, and if you have any questions, put them in the comments and I'll try to answer them. So yeah, bye bye!